Known as the commercial, financial and business center of Nigeria, Lagos City is also the center of art. The city is a melting pot of West African culture, bringing together ancient forms of art in the more modern genres. Lagos was, uh, as you know, the uh, capital and the seat of government and everything by way of uh, policy emanated from Lagos. Uh, Lagos from day one has been the center of any visibility regarding arts and culture. Apart from being or having been a, a great art center in terms of training, also happens to be the place whereby lively discussions in terms of styles, in terms of experience, in terms of exposure, in terms of culture. Lagos is the melting pot. You know, um, there is no artist I know that is practicing today that is not worthy, that hasn't had one or two or three exhibitions in Lagos. The roots of art in Nigeria can be found in Lagos, and the evolution of the art tradition took place right here in the city, within schools like the Yaba College of Technology, where art was injected into the school curriculums, hereby creating professional and qualified artists. You had the starting of the school. That's his uh, technical institute, Yaba, uh, which the Caron became a College of Arts and uh, Technology. That is uh, the College of Yaba College of Techs. Now, this were uh, institutions that produce. Uh, uh, artists and they were all established in Lagos too. So when you're talking about art and Lagos, you're thinking of uh, what happened to the whole nation. Lagos itself is an inspiration for many of the local artists. Its culture and vibrant nature makes it easy for artists like Kolode Oshinawa, one of Lagos masters in art, to create wonderful pieces. There is some kind of energy, there is some kind of uh, interesting. The activities are going on here, but they they serve as inspiration to some of us. For instance, I go into the markets. Rowdy, everybody is a lot of energy, uh, buying and selling. You know, uh, the street hawkers. You know, um, there is a there is a mix, a high mix, uh, cross cultural uh, type of. Uh, Synthesis. Kolode Oshinawa is one of Lagos' popular artists known for his talented use of color and his ability to turn everyday scenes into complex masterpieces. This is a painting of a mother and child. Um, again, it's, it's about material exploration. I, a while back, I talked about using fabric. Here, I have used fabric uh, as the background. But what I've done is to ensure that this time, motifs from the fabric are actually uh, serving as part of the painting. They are, they've been really touched. For artists like Oluwatayo Kwe, also a graduate of Yabatek, the sometimes turbulent politics of the city has been inspiring his painting since the 70s. For me, I, I, I do art the way I see my environment. My environment influence what I do. And I've done a lot of works on politics, of uh, the suffering of the people, the masses, the suffering, I mean, the misdirection of the government to the people. The drainage was done way back, I think, in 1990-something. And during that period, we have uh, the military ruling us. And from the drainage, I had a peasant woman with his arm, with her arm stretched out, with a basket over her head, and her, cl her clothes had an emblem or picture of both politicians and military. And for me, my belief is that those two are actually the people that were draining the funds and life out of the ordinary people. Abiodu Nolaku graduated from Yabatek as a painter in the 80s. And today, he is considered as one of the prominent artists in his generation because of his exceptional drawing ability and his treatment of light and spherical shapes.
What I've tried to capture there is um, the effect of dynamism, you know, like a, a situation frozen uh, with uh, my artistic uh, skills. I have refused over, over time to classify uh, my kind, my style, you know, because I think uh, an artist has, uh, I think, is blessed with some restlessness, you know. Uh, at any time I felt like um, exercising my impulses as an artist, I didn't want to be, you know, compartmentalized. Lagos is also the heartbeat of the new generation of artists in the country. And with the new generation came the experimentation of traditional art with the emerging trends in art around the world. Ndidi DK is one of Lagos' popular artists who adopted this in her works. She is known for combining wood, glass and metal to create abstract pieces of art. So I've, I've been doing a lot of three-dimensional works, um, two-dimensional works. I've worked with different kinds of wood. I've incorporated a lot of other media into my work, like metal, coins. Um, anything that I feel has a tactile kind of quality, I now incorporate it uh, into my works. She also created pieces using the more modern technique of installation. Um, there's, there's the constant challenge of trying to um, reinvent yourself, come out with new works, and um, perhaps use similar stories to, or use global themes, give it sort of a local content in terms of media so that you can actually re reach a wider audience. Younger artists like Fidelis or Dugwu experimented with metals. Um, the title of the piece is uh, Celebrations. You know, I feel as, as a human being, we should always uh, try to create uh, happiness for ourselves. So that's why for these, you know, people of different level, category, but the work is just suggestive. I only took uh, the basic principles of design, you know, which is lines, texture, movement and all that, to put this together. But artists like Bumi Babatunde combines the old generation styles with the new in his lifelike large-scale sculptures. This is one of my latest work. I did this one in 2007, 2008, and I call it Possibility. Before you can get to this point, you have to be disciplined. You have to endure a lot of uh, tests training and all that and I believe that that's all we need to discipline focus training and uh, with this kind of thing that is done possibility is assured today Lagos has artists like E.K. Francis who have incorporated more modern styles in their work I look beyond the function of the circuit boards I look at it from a majestic point of view that ah, this look like a city but it's still about the age we are in now, the computer age, the internet age. Artists like E.K. have fueled the argument that Western culture is a major influence on today's artists in Lagos, which some worry could result in a depletion of the cultural and traditional element in the city's art. In my experience, the younger generation are more open-minded. Uh, there are a lot less barriers to explore their creativity. There are loads of other options open to them. Um, brands are perhaps the, the, older, the older artists are perhaps more rigid. Though other artists believe that nothing can be lost, as already African culture influenced Western art in the past. Nevertheless, with the Western culture came new forms of art, like photography, creating masters like Sunmi Smart Co. There was a, a debate at first. Photography is not very old, very, you know, young art, so to speak compared to paintings, but it's been long established that photography is art. It's undisputed now. 